On Oahu, hundreds of emergency calls are made every day, sending first responders to the streets. But do you know what to do when the lights and sirens are headed your way? KITV4's Paul Drews has more on the rules of the road. Hawaii's paramedics prepare for all kinds of emergencies. We never know what we're getting into at any point in time, and we never know what kind of call we're going to get. They respond to gruesome accidents and bloody crime scenes, but what worries them most about a call? The scariest thing is never knowing if I'm crossing an intersection, if everyone is stopping, if they know that we're coming through, because we have to put our trust in um, the public. Racing on the freeway doesn't cause as much concern as weaving around busy city streets. The most dangerous place is in intersections because you may be going through a, a stop sign or traffic light where you have to actually stop, make sure everybody else sees you before you can proceed through that intersection safely. To make drivers more aware, ambulances may have their lights on and sirens blaring. But paramedics tell me that can confuse some drivers entering an intersection who may just stop and block the road. While the Hawaii driver's manual states you must stop for an emergency vehicle, it says before you put on the brakes, you also have to provide a clear path. For those driving on freeways or major roads which are one way, that can mean either side of the street. Paramedics are trained specifically for safe driving, but accidents do happen. When cars follow too close to a responding ambulance, the chance of that happening increases. And that's dangerous because if the ambulance has to stop suddenly, um, you know, over the last few years, once in a while, people who are doing that have run into the back of the ambulance. The rules of the road are common sense. They allow paramedics to respond during an emergency and keep drivers from needing help themselves. For everyone that's out there, I kind of hope that they take a deep breath and then safely get out of our way. We don't need them to, like, cause another accident. Paul Drews, KITV4 News.